Hello and welcome to our Google Cloud Databases Fireside Chat. Today we're going to be hosting Yevroid Sankaran, who's the Chief Architect for the Data Fabric Platform at Equifax. Andy Goodman, our VP and GM for Databases, is going to be talking to him about the Data Fabric Platform, why Equifax created it, and the databases it leverages. I'm Ron, I'm from Andy's product team, and we can just start. Yuvraj, can you tell us a little bit about Equifax, please? Sure. As a global data analytics and technology company, we play an essential role in the global economy by helping financial institutions, companies, employers, government agencies make critical decisions with greater confidence. Our unique blend of differentiated data, analytics, and cloud technology drives insights and decisions, which help people during critical financial lifecycle events like buying a home, buying a car, starting a new job, etc. Equifax's products and services play an essential role in making these events possible. Equifax is headquartered in Atlanta and supported by more than 11,000 employees globally. We operate in 24 countries in North America, Central and South America, Europe, and the Asia Pacific region. Can you tell us what the Equifax data fabric is and what is the story behind it? Sure. After the 2017 breach, the company had a new leadership, a new vision, a new direction, and wanted a cloud-native global data management platform to support all of Equifax's businesses. We wanted to reinvent ourselves and transform our business through technology. We are a 120-year-old company. We have built many data silos over the years, and we wanted to build a platform to bring all the data together and break down these silos. Our data fabric is a cloud-native data management platform built using Google Cloud products. The platform models Equifax's business as part of its core domain model, provides information security capabilities, metadata management capabilities, along with the ability to manage the data lifecycle, which includes ingestion, keying and linking, journaling, and purposing of the data. Data fabric sounds really awesome. How do you explain the value of the data fabric to your business stakeholders? The data fabric enables onboarding new data assets much more rapidly compared to how we did it in the past. It also helps governing and auditing these data assets much more, in a much more streamlined and straightforward manner. This is a critical capability since Equifax is one of the most highly audited and regulated companies in the world. A few examples. ID Foundry is a new product platform that we are building using the data fabric. The monetizable data, we call them purpose to use, were assembled in a few weeks compared to the many months it would have taken in the legacy platforms. Traditionally, every exchange was built as an independent data silo and it was very hard bringing these different data assets together. The reason for this expedited ability is the data fabric allows simply configuring these purpose to use based on our enterprise journals. Once the configuration of the views are complete, the data is ready to be consumed. Another example could be starting a new exchange with the fabric could be a matter of setting up the exchange's profile in the data fabric. The profile includes schemas, ingestion, purposing rules, and other metadata. Once the profile is created and validated, the exchange is ready for consumption by the products downstream. In summary, the data fabrics enables bringing new data assets, new exchanges, new products to market much more rapidly than before. Can you explain that data lifecycle journey and maybe you know, provide an example? One of the core concepts or one of the core aspects of Equifax business is that we build data exchanges. Examples, we build the consumer credit exchange, we build employment exchanges, we build wealth exchanges, we build telecommunication exchanges globally. These are essentially data pipelines that connect all the different suppliers, assemble these data, disparate data assets into an exchange, and then build products out of them. For example, the employment exchange, we, we receive paychecks from our suppliers, paychecks and benefits information from our suppliers. We collect them and build them into an exchange and produce an employment verification report. This employment verification report is commonly used in an, in an employee hiring process. In the data fabric, the data that we get from our suppliers, we call them contributors, a contribution could have several observations, is taken through the following life cycle stages. So in, during ingestion, we will standardize, normalize, cleanse, and curate the data. These, is, these are observations, paychecks in this example. Once the paycheck is normalized, cleansed, and curated, 
we take it to the keying and linking stage of the life cycle. Here we identify who this paychecks belong to, right? This is, we call this the entity resolution process. Once we identify the individual, we assign a data fabric key to this paycheck. Once the entity resolution is complete, we take it to the journaling stage where we journal these paychecks as a time series in Google Cloud Bigtable. Once the journaling is complete, we take it to the purposing stage where we apply the business rules, get the data ready for monetization and consumption by the products downstream. The purpose views are also housed in Google Cloud Bigtable. I really love that uh, data lifecycle and how you built it. Uh, can you tell us a bit more about the technologies under the hood uh, that you're using? Absolutely. The data fabric is completely built on Google Cloud products. We use uh, Cloud Composer to orchestrate the pipelines. We use PubSub to bring the data in and we use Dataflow for running these pipelines and move them through various lifecycle stages. We have metadata services that store data on Cloud SQL on Postgres. Our microservices are hosted on GKE and the journals themselves are hosted on Cloud Bigtable. We use BigQuery, Looker, Vertex AI, and uh, related technologies for the data and analytics side. But the primary production operations, the database is Bigtable. Um, this is where our enterprise journals are, uh, which is our source of truth. Um, we also use Bigtable to monetize our purpose we use. We use Bigtable for our entity resolution services as well. And what made you choose Google Cloud and I would say more specifically using Bigtable for, you know, as a system of record for this critical data? Equifax so being a data and analytics company, we needed a partner with good data and analytics capabilities. And we felt that Google had the best of breed technologies in the space. So we thought it's a good match. Bigtable is a highly reliable, efficient, cost-effective offering from Google Cloud. We needed a highly scalable, eventually consistent, low latency database. So for example, our credit exchange, we receive about 100 million observations a day, which need to be made available for monetization in a very short amount of time. Overall in the fabric, currently we have about 225 billion records and growing. We expect to receive about 500 million observations a day in 2022. Um, our products have a pretty low latency requirement, like credit report supposed to be delivered in 100 milliseconds to the, to the customer. This includes finding, retrieving, assembling, and running business rules for every request that we receive. Um, so the database typically gets about 10% of this time, so 10 milliseconds or less. So we needed a database technology that provides significant low latency capabilities, and Bigtable fits the bill for us here. That's really impressive latency and scale. Uh, what do you think are some of the other things that our customers should know about uh, as far as Bigtable is concerned? Yeah, Bigtable is a hosted serverless cloud scale database. It takes the responsibility away from us for keeping critical infrastructure up and running all the time so that our teams can focus on the business problems we have. We knew going in that this is what we expected from Bigtable, but it was a pleasant surprise by the convenience and the ease of use we, we got from using a platform of this scale. The main things that the customers should know are the, the planning of the workloads, pay attention to the quotas, uh, pay attention to the key designs so that the data is distributed and you don't get hotspots. All of this, of course, is documented in Google's best practices and absolutely important for that customers follow those best practices. The other thing I want to highlight here is the, the collaboration that we have with the Google product engineers. We worked with that team to understand and set up multi-region capabilities, and we were able to collaborate with them to reduce the, re the replication latency that we found when we set this up. And we found that the Google engineers were very collaborative and helpful and we were pleasantly surprised at that. That's really great to hear. If you could ask us for one you know, new feature on Bigtable, what would that be and how are you dealing without that feature today? So we have asked this before, Bigtable secondary indices is the ask. The current state is Bigtable organizes the data based on row keys and you know, the access pattern is based on this row key. And since we host all of our journals in Bigtable, we needed other ways to get to this data 
And uh, so we built these secondary indices ourselves using Bigtable. And the ask is if Bigtable can make it part of their roadmap so that we don't have to maintain that ourselves. I cannot promise, but I can definitely promise that it's noted. Uh, thanks a lot for joining us today. It was really exciting to hear about Equifax and the data fabric you've built. I'm going to hand it over to Ron right now. And as Andy said, thank you so much for being with us today, Yuvaraj, and telling us about the transformation journey at Equifax. Andy, thank you, as usual, for hosting. And on behalf of everyone here in Google Cloud Databases, thank you for joining us. See you next time. Thank you.